There are several approaches to searching in Fourscore. One is if I tap on the upper left corner to bring up this menu and then make sure that I am in the composer list, uh, which is uh, on the upper left side there. And uh, I want to make sure what, what library I'm in. So we're going to tap on library. And I am right, right now in all libraries because that is what's checked, and that's good. That means I'll be able to see everything. I'm on the composer list. Now, if you look at the right side of this menu, in addition to the alphabet, uh, it has a little magnifying glass on the upper side of that. So if I tap on that, then on the very top of this menu, I get this find box. And so let's say I'm looking for Bach. E A C H. And it brings up all the Bach. Notice it also brings up Christian Erbach uh, because that has Bach in it. So it doesn't limit itself to just what you typed. So then I can just tap on one of those and uh, see uh, that composer's uh, pieces. Now, I can also, if I, go, I went back here to the composer list and to the top of the composer list, and if I tap on all scores here, then I'm not limited to just the composers. I'm, I've got everything in here. And of course, because my uh, organization usually starts with the composer's name, that's what you see. But you see, I haven't always done that. I haven't, I haven't always followed that rule. Uh, so some of these uh, are just with the, the name of the piece, and some begin with the composer's name. But all of them have the name of the piece in addition. So, so I'm in all scores. I'm in all scores, and I want to search for something that's je vu, something or other. So I'm going to type J E V O U S. And now notice that it didn't, it's, it's something of a smart search. It didn't just search for J space vu, it also found J underscore actually vu underscore j and uh, so anything that had as those you know those words no matter what else was in it it found so uh, if if you have underscores separating your words or if you don't even if you have the words in a reverse order it will still find it so that's a very useful search function and again to find that if I go back to the beginning here I am uh, just in a piece tap on the upper left and then um, make sure I'm in an appropriate library because remember the libraries are specific. The only one that has everything is all libraries. If I'm in the uh, Camerata Trio uh, library, then it won't find anything that's not in that library. So if I'm in all libraries, it'll find everything. And again, if I wanted to be searching for the title of a piece, I'm going to go to all scores. If I want to search for a composer, then I'll search for a composer. I can also search for a genre, uh, or instruments, or labels. And each of those is in blue at the top here. So that's one way of searching. Another way of searching, if I tap in the middle, I bring up this menu. And uh, in the menu on the right side is a, is a magnifying glass. Tap on that. And now it shows me a few recently played pieces, and then it shows everything, all scores, again, in, in the library that I'm currently in. So from here, I can do a simple search, as I did before, but there's an additional search function that is really useful, which is over on the left side, those three little dashes, brings up filters. And actually, the same function is available in the search that we just looked at. Uh, I just tend to use it over here more often. Right now, I can define a search using any of the primary categories, which is the labels and instruments and composers and uh, genres. Um, and so I can, I've, I've defined each of these before, but let's say I want something new. So I'm going to click on the plus sign here. And uh, I want, uh, I can choose composer, genre, instruments, or labels. I'm going to choose composer and the composer I want to search for is, I'm going to, again, on the right side I have the alphabet, so I can go down here, and I'm going to search for anonymous. So I find A and tap on anonymous, and now on the upper right I'm going to click that X, 
and that brings up composer contains anonymous. Now I want an additional one here. I'm going to say have I want to add a new one, and I want to see all the trios by anonymous. So I'm going to go to instruments, and instruments equals three. So then click the X on the upper right side. So now I have composer contains anonymous and instruments contains three. Now on the upper right side, I'm going to click done. And here are all of the pieces in my iPad uh, for three voices by anonymous. And there are quite a few of them. Now the thing that's great about this is I'm going to click done. And uh, so uh, if I want to get back to that, if I click on the, the magnifying glass, it'll bring up that same search. So let's say I want to take a look at this piece, and I look through that, I click back up here on the upper right, and it brings up that same search. So I can then say we look at this piece, and um, so I can go on and examine that. But if, when I'm finished, I can then click on the upper left, there's an X that says filtering results, tap to show all results. And if I click the X there, that will uh, delete that filter. So I'm now, now back to uh, whatever I want to do. So I can then click on the little three dashes again. And the searches that I've defined are in here. Let's say now I want to find all of the five part pieces by anonymous. So I can tip on, I can tap on composer equals anonymous and tap on instruments equals five, which I have searched for before, and or I could have defined that if it weren't already there, and click done. And there are all the five part pieces by anonymous. So those are the basic ways of searching in Fourscore. I hope that was helpful.